Hey fellas, it's Zem from Shrek Gaming, and I'm doing the review on the IL-1. This is the one, the new aircraft they have out for the premium um, Russian multi-role. Uh, essentially, this was an attempt by the Russians to build a uh, little bit more maneuverable IL series uh, aircraft. Um, it did not. Uh, I believe they built one, maybe two, a couple of them. Um, they gained air superiority in 1944, so it wasn't uh, needed. Uh, so yeah, that's essentially the history of it. Um, I and mean, obviously, it looks very similar to the ILs, uh, IL twos. Um, this is supposed to be a more maneuverable version of that. Uh, unfortunately, it's not really maneuverable. Um, it just, it's other than the survivor survivability uh, and the 23 millimeters, which are some very long-range guns. Uh, but the altitude performance is terrible. Uh, airspeed is blah. It's just, yeah. Uh, I don't know what to say about it. Um, buyer's regret, maybe? Uh, there's nothing spectacular about it for a tier 6. Uh, it, it just doesn't uh, do anything that you can't do in any other craft easily. I mean, not even close. Uh, it's just a very dumbed-down aircraft it's uh, I mean the 23 millimeters have some very long range capability uh, but you cannot maneuver it's not really a very good energy fighter uh, it carries a really crappy ordnance load um, so yeah they, it, there's just absolutely nothing about it that uh, stands out in my mind in the, the games I've played in it so uh, would I give this a thumbs up no probably not uh, save your money uh, for something that's a little bit more, uh, you know, even the P-39Q, still a better aircraft than this one. Uh, you know, at least with that thing, you can actually get into a fight. Uh, this thing is, yeah, it, it's, it, of course, it's faster than the regular IL-2s, uh, but it, uh, yeah, as a multi-role with that uh, very uh, small, I mean, you think about this, so this is a Tier six. Uh, and let's look at the American multi-role. I mean, granted, this is... Uh, well, actually, hell, we don't even need to look at the... Uh, we'll just look at the X F, the F4, not the F4U, the... Uh, oh, where is it at here? No, uh, the tech tree here. Yeah, let's look at the... Um, there's six for, uh, the Amer uh, for the Americans, the Corsair. No, it's eight rockets, two bombs, uh, plus 420s. Yeah, there's there's just nothing about, you know, and I'm granted that is you know a regular in uh, in game plane, but um, yeah, there's just I don't know what to say. I was rather disappointed in it when I bought it. Uh, when I started playing it, I, I was expecting a little bit more. Uh, I mean, if they would have thrown some rockets on here and some uh, <laughs> at least two more machine guns, uh, you could have did something with it. But right now, it, it is just uh, extremely underpowered uh, for what it is uh, and what you're trying to do with it. Um, and, and I usually don't give really bad reviews on aircraft, but this is, uh, it's just meh uh, at best. Uh, the game I do show here, I don't think I've won in this in this plane yet. Uh, you can't really do, but then again, I'm going to actually do a video and I'm going to be very critical about what the current state of the game is because I'm getting really pissed about it. Um, the, the game, uh, I mean, I think I've lost 7% uh, win rate in the last week because of uh, bots, messed up bots. Uh, I mean, it, it's hard to win when you have four or five bots that just circle bases. Uh, and the enemy teams don't. Uh, you know, things like that, and just it's just odd. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that video this one other time here. Uh, but for the actual airplane, um, no, I, I wouldn't give this a thumbs up. Uh, it, it's just very meh. And, uh, you know, for what they're asking for, for the price-wise, uh, you can certainly find better air aircraft, uh, premium aircraft than this. So I'm going to bring up the gameplay, and uh, you can see what I'm kind of talking about. All right, fellas, I am back with the gameplay with the IL-1. And, yeah, uh, heading toward the military you base right off the bat. Um, off we go. I, I just don't know what to say, and I, I, and I tried a little bit of everything in this game. 
uh, just to try to give it a little uh, a chance, right? Um, I, and I was expecting, okay, so it's an IL-1. Uh, yeah, it does have a fair amount of hit points. Uh, but with that ordnance loadout and, and, and the very weak uh, setup of guns, uh, I mean, it gets two 23s. Uh, that's it. I mean, they're nice guns, don't get me wrong. Uh, very seem to be pretty long range guns uh, and they hit fairly nice but there's nothing uh, yeah they just don't do it for me uh, you know you can't dogfight with it uh, it has essentially not the, the sheer amount of uh, passes you have to make to shoot something down it's ridiculous I did find it does pretty well if you want to go sh say you know blow up some uh, Blow up some more, blow up some ground attack planes. Uh, it does that well. I mean, it, it, it fares well against other ILs uh, or German attack planes or whatever that are not paying attention. Uh, I mean, it, with that big, uh, those two big 23s, uh, you can put a lot of damage out fairly quickly. But that's about all I can find that it was actually good at uh, was blowing up. Uh, ground attack planes. Uh, altitude performance is crap. Uh, boost is, I mean, the boost is okay, but it, you know, getting up there is just, uh, uh, and by God, don't get into any sort of turn fight with it. Um, it just, uh, it suffers uh, from the low mobility, or the low maneuverability of this aircraft. Uh, I mean, you know, here I'm trying to get in behind this bot, and this boomerang is, you know, it's a bot. So he, he, he ain't really turning real hard, <laughs> and it, you know it, it takes a little while to get around on him. Uh, but the two twenty threes, I mean, when you, you are hitting, it does they do do a fair amount of damage, uh, and they are effective out to about two thousand feet. So they, you know, they can um, they can get a ways out there, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, just not um, what I. Uh, was envisioning when I was uh, trying to play this thing. You know, so I'm at 2,000, 2,000 plus with these cannons, uh, and I'm still hitting. So yeah, uh, I mean, nice long range, um, good damage, and they don't overheat at, really at all. Uh, I mean, you really have to be pumping a lot of shots out from to overheat. Uh, so that is, it's probably one defining char uh, characteristic. Uh, it does have a, a, a really nice set of uh, 23s on it, uh, but other than that, uh, uh, yeah, uh, speed, maneuverability, uh, and uh, altitude is just horrible. They're, 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 it, it can't do anything. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 yeah, I mean, uh, you know, uh, I pretty much just played the low game in this thing because anything above about 2,500 feet, it, it, it's like a big fat, wet whale. Uh, okay, it doesn't even have to be wet. Okay, a dry whale. Uh, it, 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 it suffers uh, horribly from that. Uh, it does have, like I said, it has a large HP pool. Uh, so it does a, a pretty nice job of uh, taking damage. I mean, with these, I, with these other uh, ground pounders, uh, you can sit in behind them and, uh, you know, and you can take a lot of damage. Uh, and, once again, you can snipe from Fair long range on these uh, actual fighters. You like to see Dac 9s here. Uh, I, I did do a little bit of air combat with them. I tried to stay as low as I can because uh, it does not do well, obviously, like I said before, uh, trying to deal with um, any sort of maneuverable aircraft. Uh, everything will outturn it. I mean, even the uh, B 51s uh, will outturn you. And to some to a certain degree, some of the um, of course, the premium ones will. Uh, but yeah, you know, if I'm if I'm dealing with a, say a German uh, heavy uh, heavy fighter or even one of the just regular light fighters, you know, with the energy capability, uh, he gets to dictate the terms because I I just don't have the speed or the uh, ability to fly. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so I get knocked out. Puts me back to gonna respawn here and see what happens um, uh, yeah so here's what I'm talking about look at that bots are just circling away circling away circling away uh, 
not even in the fight. For whatever reason. Uh, yeah, not even engaged. Uh, finally, they decide to uh, maybe get involved here. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to actually go after the cat because, once again, I lacked the ability to actually get in a fight uh, that's worth a damn. So you're going to see me go jump on some uh, ground pounders uh, and hopefully stop them from retaking our missile base. Uh, yeah, we were up a bunch here and it just totally fell to shit uh, real quick. Um, you know, the, this is the problem with uh, the bot system. You, you just don't have a ability to uh, get them to help you and if you're in a flight uh, you know, you're, you're so much farther ahead uh, with dealing with this stuff so uh, yeah if you're looking for something that wants to sh if you want to just want to shoot down GAs hey this is this works pretty well uh, this does a nice job uh, against GAs <laughs> I mean I mean that, that's I I, 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 uh, I can't even like I said buyer's remorse on this I I was expecting, you know, maybe some high altitude capability, uh, maybe some speed, uh, but you know, they essentially took the IL and, and, and made it a little bit more maneuverable, uh, and that's about it. Uh, there's nothing redeeming about it. Uh, it's it, it suffers every which way possible, uh, except for the guns. Um, so yeah, if you're gonna pick this up, uh, you're gonna pick it up because you're either an airplane collector or. Uh, you're looking for a Russian multi-role. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if you'd want to do that. <laughs> I, it, it's a very, uh, it's a very interesting aircraft. And you know, I, I had a, I think 9,000 combat points in this game with it, and that was mostly just because I was flying down here low, uh, you know, under 2,000 feet, uh, trying to do some stuff here. Uh, you're see gun here, you're trying to come in here, and actually maybe even take, try to take a cap. Uh, but once again, uh, I got planes flying all over the place, uh, and there's no real cohesion uh, with these aircraft. Uh, what's going on? Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing at all. Uh, and there's nothing I can do to him, even if I wanted to, because uh, my maneuver, my maneuverability is so lame, so lame uh, compared to that. Uh, so yeah, I'm out of the game. Um, you know, like I said, I ended up with a little over 9,000 uh, combat points, uh, and, and the game's lost uh, once again because of the, uh, I, I shouldn't just say bot system, but yeah, it, it doesn't help. Uh, it's really kind of questionable about what's going on with that game. So, hope you guys enjoyed the replay. Uh, if you're a sadist and you really, really want this plane, you know, head, go ahead and buy it. Um, any other reason? Uh, yeah, it just doesn't do anything. Uh, it, it's very underpowered. It's very weak. Um, yeah, that's uh, just straight up how it is. So uh, we'll see you guys later, and uh, I'll have some more bits coming up.